Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Silica video. So today uh, we're going to be looking at a, a few of the buildings I haven't actually shown yet. Um, in general to like all the human units, uh, all the alien units. Um, these are just spawnable structures you use with the command menu. Um, they are fully functional, however they're all on soul faction. So you can't spawn them in for say Centauri and you can't spawn them in for the alien faction. So just bear this in mind when you look at these buildings. Um, you can spawn them in in sandbox. You can also spawn them in in strategy if you're a host. So you can make for some pretty uh, cool looking like siege type uh, game modes. If you've got a load of friends that you want to make siege game modes with, etc, etc. Um, you can spawn quite a few of these buildings in and they will operate and shoot enemy units. So you've just got to be careful with that. Uh, a, few of the, a few other of the structures I'm going to show you as well are pretty much just non-functional structures. Um, Drama's put them in the game, however, they're probably not going to be used. I mean, to be honest with you, most of what I'm going to show you today is probably not going to be in the actual game um, to be used. Uh, however, you can still use them at the moment, and you can kind of like make your own game modes with them. You know, you can you can incorporate them into already existing maps. The reason why I'm looking at the floor is because actually I'm looking at a structure right now, and I will show you it in just a moment. So, guys. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, uh, put some comments down below what you want to like. If you want me to actually like try and make a game mode where um, I can spawn like a massive amount of crabs and try and defend a fortress or something, uh, let me know if that's something you would like to see or anything else, any other ideas that you have as well. Uh, just let me know and I can see what I can do. So I'm going to be releasing some more challenges that I've been uh, I've been challenged to do by a few of you guys in the community. I am planning on getting them out. Um, and also, don't forget to join me on Thursday, as I'm going to be hosting a community server, uh, just like Silica Sundays. And then on Saturday, uh, we're going to be doing Silica Saturdays. And then on Sunday, I do believe I'm going to be casting the tournament, but I'm still to confirm that. So, um, we've got two streams coming up in the next few days, so definitely stick around and, uh, yeah, get on some of the action. But without further ado, guys, let's have a look at these buildings that you can only spawn in from the uh, from the spawn system. Um, if I quickly look in the spawn menu at the moment, um, you can see there is the outpost. I will quickly spawn the outpost before I get into the rest of these. So uh, we're going to put the outpost down. There we go. So the outpost is down. So, uh, right. So, let's get rid of the spawn menu. So we're going to start from the far left here first. We're going to start with this building to start with. Now, you may have seen this already. Um, I've spawned it in a few of my streams. Um, it is basically the fusion reactor. Um, I did speak to Dram on what this was. Um, it was basically in the early stages of the game of being made. Um, he did think about having, for example, power plants and power uh, for the human faction. And uh, basically the fusion reactor, reactor was going to be part of that. And so is the other building to this left here. You probably kind of know what it is by now. Uh, okay, so if you've seen the siege map, then you have seen this building incorporated into the siege map. This is the city turret, so the city ultra heavy turret. It is a fully functional turret. It's got its own like little walls and stuff. It can be destroyed, so you can actually like use this. As you can also see, its rendering is off because it is technically not a asset in the actual game, so it won't render properly. It will render when you're real close to it, like this. But as soon as you go like you know a few meters away, it does stop rendering. But it's still fully functional. It's got its own health pool as well. It's 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 noticed by the system as well. If I quickly spawn in a infantryman and take control, uh, there we go. You can see it says ultra heavy turret, so it has got its own health pool. It is a fully functional unit. Same goes with the fusion reactor and the next one as well, which is the solar panel. So I actually really like the solar panel, despite it not being in the game. It does actually follow. The system star, the, the sun for Boltrus, actually follows it. And uh, I want to see what happens when it goes to dark. So we'll keep an eye on it. When it goes to dark, we'll see if it resets itself. It just waits for the sun to come back up. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Or it might follow the moon, the brightest moon of Boltrus, which I believe is that one there, the ice planet. So I'll, we'll, we'll see. When, it, when, when the sun goes down, we'll quickly get this out of the way before, the, before it gets dark. I've been sat in the server for quite a while. So uh, time is ticking. So, this is actually called the Inner Wall Turret. Um, it is in the Siege map also. It's part of the actual wall itself. Um, looks like you could incorporate it into a cliff if you wanted to like defend a mount, like a, a, a cliff fortress, like a mountain fortress. Uh, you could incorporate this into that as well. Uh, by the way, guys, if you want to know how you get these to spawn in, um, you open up the command menu, type spawn, and it gives you the command list. Not all of these are working. Uh, for example, I tried to spawn in the door, the uh, actual gate itself. Uh, which you'll probably see when I find it a moment. It is down a bit more. There. So, Fortress Entry Door. I couldn't spawn that in. So, it's not a spawnable entity. 
However, all of these are. So, inner tower, large tower, tower, containers, ultra heavy, etc. All of this is all spawnable. Bunkers are also spawnable as well. Uh, right, okay. So, without further ado, as it's getting darker. So, this is a, another usable structure. It is a big old tower. It's got its own like little ramps. You can incorporate it into a cliff edge. By the way, guys, it doesn't render when you look at it head on. So, you can see here there's like gaps and stuff. So, this is all like... You know, not usable for the main game. But you can use it if you wanted to do your own thing, basically, in your own map. So, it looks like the solar panel did reset. And it actually is looking at that. Uh, that's actually very interesting. I believe it is following it. Okay. We'll keep an eye on that solar panel. We'll keep an eye on it. Right. Now it is dark. So, uh, I do apologize. But we have got ourselves the large tower. Now, this is a big boy fortress tower, as you can see here. It is absolutely massive. Let's go retake our... Uh, where did I leave my scout to? There he is. Let's go have a look at my scout again. We're going to walk over to it in just a few moments. Got to run over. I will explain what the outpost is as well in a second. Once I've gone through all the uh, the buildings that spawn all via the uh, command the command stuff. I would uh, speed up time. Just so we can get back to daytime. But I don't actually have a number pad on my keyboard. So I can't actually do that unfortunately. And uh, I could always set, set time, time scale, but it will take a while regardless. So, you can see it's quite a big tower. It is fully functional. It's got four big turrets on the side of it. It's just all walls leading up to these four turrets. You can, you know, you could, you could plant it wherever you want. I've planted it into the sand. You could plant it on top of a cliff. You could plant it, like, just anywhere. You, you can literally build a fortress using these buildings and uh, see if you can defend it against a massive onslaught of crabs. Could be something I would be willing to do on stream as well if I can get a few people to join me. Um, it can be a bit buggy. I would have to do it in strategy mode. Turn off the AI and uh, hope for the best, basically. Just so people can spawn in. But, uh, yeah, it might be something I could do. Okay, so... Uh, ignore the rogue donutting buggy. I kind of left it to do that. <laughs> so, um, the ultra-heavy turret itself is this here. So, it is a turret. It is a turret. So, um, this is incorporated into the other building, so it's incorporated into this, it's incorporated into this, and it's incorporated into this. So this is literally the standard turret. It is fully functional. It is just on its own. You can spawn on a cliff. You can do whatever you want. It does shoot things. I'll show you how it shoots things in a moment. Okay, and the next thing we're going to go over to is the containers. So we've got container. Let's have a look. So we've got container long, zero, 01 large. Long zero one small and short zero one small. So this is uh, the long one, and you can see I've actually fit a uh, a hover tank into it, so it can actually fit a tank into it. Doesn't really have a use. Um, I did ask Dram if he was going to use these things. He said not past like uh, you know, just for building buildings and such. You know, you'd use this as like a visual aid, uh, just to plant stuff around. You know, beautify things and stuff and such. Um, it's not going to be a usable building despite having an interior and lights as well. And you can actually fit a tank into it as well. I'm going to drive the tank out of here in a sec. Just so you guys get the gist of it. So, so yeah. It is, you know, it is a functional container after all. And you can, uh, you know, put things into it. You can indeed. Right. We're going to head over to the next container. Now you can see it's not fully rendering properly. But we have got ourselves a... Uh, I think this one is the long small... Yeah, it is the long small. Zero one long small. See, I've got a rifleman in here at the moment. A dead rifleman. Uh, yep, enough to fit infantrymen in. And you're going to like the last one. I mean, come on. We've got the uh, the small small. And we've got ourselves a cheeky boy crab in here. You can see him there just chilling inside of the container. Very tiny indeed. Very tiny. And uh, we're going to get in there after we've just killed the crab off. So, just a tiny container. The doors don't shut after they've opened. They do come spawned shut. Um, I'll tell you what, I can quickly spawn one in so you guys can see. So give me a second. Uh, container long. Zero one. Long. A large even. Okay, so you can see it actually comes shut already. Actually, I left my trooper in the floor there, so we're going to spawn a new one in. Um, boom. Right. So, yeah, you can see it comes shut already, and then when you walk up to it, it does open the main door. There you go. So, and then it doesn't shut after that, but you, you can get the gist of it. Yeah, you can get the gist of it. So, that's the containers for you. So, like I said, guys, it's going to be a short video today. Um, but it's just mainly showing off the buildings you can spawn in. I know I've shown off all the buildings you can spawn in from the spawn menu itself. 
we're going to finish off here with the outpost, which is a spawnable one from the respawn screen itself. Uh, the outpost is rumored to be at the long-range outpost building, but it could change at any point. Everything could change here at any point, but it is a fully functional building. You've got the garage inside, which is uh, the interior. You can see there's like little parking strips there, but, it, you know... The thing is, with all these assets, is they can be changed at any point. So they can literally have parts of them like stripped out. There could be parts added to it. Um, when you when you have an asset that you buy, you can literally cannibalize and do what you want with it. Technically, so this is just what seems to be a standard asset that is going to be, um, you know, made to fit into silica. So, but it is already here. The gun's not functional. Um, you, yeah, you, you cannot use the uh, the main the main turret on it. Um, that could well be replaced by that turret or a smaller version of that turret you, you don't know it's, it's all it's all new but it is a fully functional building and it's got its own lights and it's got its own system um so yeah and obviously it's got a symbol that we don't recognize but that's because it isn't a silica symbol but there we go guys so like i said it's a very short video today boom jumped off the top there and the door's reopening Anything you want else you want to see, guys, just let me know. Um, I can try and spawn in other things. I can. I've already tried to set up Badlands on Rift Basin, kind of like uh, you know, call in the the thunderstorm and all that, or the static storm. Uh, but it, it did fail. It, it didn't work. So, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it did spawn on the map, but it, it kind of crashed the game out. So I had to. I had to Oh, I for the game. So, yeah, this this things I'm trying out. This things I'm trying out, and I can share with you guys in the future. I'm going to be trying out a lot of different things. I'm going to try and like create some stuff, and and uh, if you guys want to see like me try and create a siege type game mode, like try and recreate what Dram was envisioning for siege, uh, like a rudimentary one on Rift Base and whatnot, uh, utilizing these big old fortress guns, and then like uh, spawning like 600 crabs and send them in and stuff. So. Just let me know. Let me know if you'd like to see that type of thing. Um, without further ado, guys, though, I will see you next time. Uh, let's see if the solar panel is still following that uh, that moon of Bolterus. There, the ice planet is still following it. Look, see, see, it just moved. Then it just shifted to follow it even further. So that's very interesting. Um, also, I just realised that's not a gas giant. What planet is that? I'm gonna ask Dram that because it looks like it's actually colonised. But yeah. If you guys know what it is, uh, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that planet. That's not a gas giant. And it also looks colonized. Because you can see like almost like artificial, um, almost like cityscapes and lighting and stuff coming off the planet itself. So um, yeah, anyway guys, without further ado, I will see you in the next one. I'll see you on Thursday for some streams. The buggy is still doing donuts. And uh, yeah, peace out guys.